Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today I'm going to show you how to build this very easy, very affordable bench top tool carousel. I start off by using the jigsaw to cut a circle 36 inches in diameter out of a sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood. I then took 2x4s and cut 8 pieces at 24 inches long. These will become the square frames on the tool base. And then I cut 4 legs at 32 inches in length. I'm assembling the frame in a concentric pattern so that all sides and all corners are the same and I'm putting this together with 3 inch long pan head Torx drive screws. Somehow I lost the footage of me assembling the top and bottom square frames with the legs but I spaced the bottom square frame up from the floor 3.5 inches and made the top frame flush with the top. I then put a 2x4 in the middle of the frame, measured and found the exact center, and drilled a pilot hole through it. I then flipped the frame over upside down, aligned the pilot hole between the frame and the plywood, stuck it through and did a little test spin. Here I am installing the 5 8 inch roller ball bearings. I only had 8 of these and I really wish I had more. I'll probably go to the store and pick some up whenever I'm in town again. If you're doing this project, I would recommend getting about 16 of these so that it really helps to distribute the weight evenly and not bog down these rollers. I cut some blocks to fill in the top of the frame, kind of making a cross shaped pattern, and then put the roller bearings eyeballing center on each of these. So here I am drilling the hole to feed the 1 inch PVC pipe through the top and the tool base. If you're building this and buying all the materials fresh, I would recommend going with at least an inch and a half diameter PVC pipe. That way you'd be able to feed your power cords through without any problems. Here I am testing out the top and a little bit of tool placement, kind of getting an idea where things could go and what I could fit on here. The fit on the plywood was a little tight and it was kind of hard to rotate around, so I decided to take the circle off and make that hole a little bit larger so that it doesn't get hung up on the PVC pipe and it spins freely. Here I am creating a custom power cord for this rotating tool base. I had some 12-2 wiring on hand and a male and female extension cord set as well. You probably won't have to do this if you're able to use a larger diameter PVC pipe, but this still works well and I was able to still use what I had in the workshop. It was very important to me when designing and building this to make it very economical and very easy to build for anyone regardless of your tools or your skill ability. Once I was happy with the placement of the tools, I went ahead and attached them using a various assortment of screws and washers and whatever I could find that would really hold them in place securely. Knowing myself, I knew that I would grab the tool to rotate the base more than I ever would actually reach down and grab the top and rotate it, so I wanted to make sure all the tools were really locked in solid. The last thing to do was to anchor this tool carousel to the floor of my shop so that it didn't move around whenever I went to spin this thing around as I used it. This is a very basic rotating tool carousel build, especially when you compare it with the ones you may also find on YouTube or around the internet, but this is a very easy build and one that can be done with minimal tools and skill set. I also have the option of placing a shelf on the bottom, and I probably will do that in the near future as well. 
Perhaps I'll add a shop vac down there for a little bit of on-site dust collection, or I'll just use it for general tool storage. Here you go guys, that's how to build this benchtop tool carousel.